immediately we worked very closely with the British Red Cross to identify um, essential items from shoes and flip-flops and clothes, um, nappies for babies. Now we're starting to get into a flow and when we have a GP on site, we have other health professionals coming on site regularly to offer their support. Um, and we're now we're talking to people like play um, activators and to see whether there's education support that we can provide to people while they're here. My last job was in Helmand province right. with the American Special Forces. Sure. We, we could see like Taliban's inside the city. Exactly. They were doing patrols. I couldn't enter the airport. It was so difficult. Right. It was too crowded outside. Yeah, yeah. Even it was like dangerous, like playing with your life to get into the airport. After that, I got an email uh, from British Embassy. Right. Hey, you applied for a visa. Congratulations. Wow. You took me inside the airport and it was like that. And you know you're safe. Yeah. The more you talk to people, the clearer it gets that they've been through things that, that we can't imagine and we'll never have to go through ourselves. And yet the atmosphere here at the accommodation is very calm. Everybody is so polite and so respectful. Everybody's full of smiles. Um, they're always grateful for anything that they are, that, that's coming from us, any of the help that we get. Uh, the children are polite and well behaved. It's, it's really been a delight to be working here with everyone. In this area, everything's great, Good. or has, for all of uh, families, Afghan families, the Fiji. For a child and for me, I'm uh, free. I Good can to go outside and uh, actually I find you great. Good. You and your colleagues and uh, home office and immigration team, everything Good. is great for us. It's really important that as a local authority, we ensure that any people that settle in our area or those people who move on to other parts of the UK have the right support services in place in order for them to integrate smoothly into life in the UK. Whether that's education for their children, um, education for themselves, so we've already had requests about how to convert degrees, um, ways into work, uh, support with that, just basically navigating all of the systems that we have here in the UK. Not just about systems, but about our ways of life and make that transition as easy as possible for them. Okay.